Hey everyone, it's Patty from PS Paper Crafts. Thanks so much for joining me. Today I want to make this fun card. It's happy birthday from all of us. And I think it's really cute. I'm using the Woodland Wonder Tree. Um, there's a top and a middle and a bottom and all kinds of fun characters. And I just thought it was cute. I did it on a regular card that opened, but you could just do this as one layer and not have it open if you wanted to. Um, but I thought it could kind of stand up like this. Um, but anyway, I got this idea from the catalog on page 53 of the mini January through June 2021 catalog. They have this, um, this card here, and it folds up to look like this, and it opens up to look like this. They use a stamp apparatus. I didn't use it. Um, it it's photopolymer, so it worked out good for me. Uh, but if you wanted to use your stamp apparatus or Misty tool or whatever, you could do that as well. I used a lot of stamps, um, but let's get started. So, and actually, let me just show you. So in the catalog, it says it's a 4 by 10 um, So I have the, the basic white 4 by 10 and so it's 4 by 10 sorry, 10 and 3 quarters. So 4 by 10 and 3 quarters, and it's scored at 5 and a quarter and 8. So the 5 and a quarter... Um, you know you're going to get your standard kind of card base so when it folds up you're you're fitting it just like any other layer that you would do so we have it all prepped and ready to go now we'll do our stamping so i just want to tell you that there's a, a little bit of a trick to this if you put the top the middle and the bottom it's too small to fit in this so I did it, I tried it, and I was coloring to see what colors I wanted. So I started with this tree kind of toward the top, and there was a lot of room at the bottom, and not so good. I tried to start it at the bottom and go up, even worse. So you need to extend the trunk. So I'm going to stamp this part an extra time without getting ink on this part. So I'll show you what I'm talking about. Um, we're going to start at the top, so I'm using black memento ink because I will be coloring with the stamp and blends. Those are alcohol based, so you want to use the black memento ink with them. And I really want to ink it up. And this is where, if you want to get your stamp apparatus, um, you can use that to make sure you can go over it multiple times if you want it really dark. And if you get your tree off, from the beginning crooked it's going to be crooked all the way down but i think that's okay because you know trees are not always straight i like to uh <laughs> copy nature which is not always so perfect it is beautiful but everything isn't you know like as if we were measuring it so let's get this inked up so this is the middle with all these little critters hanging out which i think is so cute i really love this set it's adorable now i may get my head in here because i want to get the top pieces lined up okay and i just want to make sure it's nice and dark there all right so now this next piece which is the um the trunk the bottom with the grass you want to just get ink you don't want to go too far down you don't want to get it on the grass i'm going to just put it on this white so we can see where we are okay and then we want to add this and i guess you could add it even multiple times if you wanted it really long Again, excuse my head. Okay, and then let's just see, is that long enough? I think it will be long enough. You could make it even longer. Maybe I'll make it a little longer. I'm going off script here a little bit. But Okay, and then we want to just ink it up completely so we can get the grass and line it up. It's pretty easy to line up if you don't have your head under a camera. 
So we have all of that done and we want to color it. I want to add this little bunny rabbit here. So there's a stamp for him. And I think he's really cute. And he just kind of comes out the side. Okay, I have his cheek in the tree, but that's okay. And what else? We want to do our happy birthday. So we'll get that going. And I'm going to put it here because I went down a little bit longer. And we have this sign, hip hip hooray. So I, I did my coloring and, and things a little bit different than what was on the, the card in the catalog. And that's the beauty of it. You can make it your own. So let's put this sign right about here. And I did a balloon. They did a yay. Um, so I have the, the owl holding the balloon. They had it holding this little sign. So you could really, you know, whatever you want to do, play with it. And let's, I want to have these little ties at the top of this. Okay, and we'll do a balloon with the owl. And I have him a little bit higher than I did before. And then I had some music notes coming out from where the bird is tweeting. So we'll put that there. And I did add some butterflies, and I added this one because I got a little ink on it. So I'm going to wait on the butterflies until uh, I see if I get any ink anywhere. Because you do a lot of coloring and a lot of stamping, and you don't want to make a mistake. So I want to put some clouds on. I'm using Seaside Spray. And let me just get a piece of scrap underneath it. And where's the clouds? Here's the clouds. So we'll just have some clouds, you know, up in the tree off in the distance and we'll do one more up here okay and what else so now i think we want to start coloring and then i can add more if i need to um, let me get my blends now there's a lot of different colors i used i did the leaves with granny apple green light and dark and I liked this look that was in the catalog. I'm not sure what color they use, but they did it a light and dark. So I did the same thing. And what I'm doing is I'm coloring the entire leaf with the light, and then I'm going to just do half the leaf with the dark. So let's get that going. And again, I'm going to speed this up. Okay, so I have all the leaves with the light, and now I'm going to go in with the dark. And you can see that it just, isn't that pretty? I think it just adds a little bit. Um, so like the, the sun is shining through or something. So I will speed this up again. Okay, I think I got them all, but isn't that pretty? Just on its own. So next I'm going to do the trunk, and I did that in light and dark crumb cake. So I did the tree in light crumb cake, and then I stopped and drew some lines and then went over it again. So um, I just kind of colored it in the light, just like this. Go up into the branches. And I kind of did it in sections because this does dry quick and I want to make sure I get the blending going. So I did the, the kind of the nib on this one and I just kind of drew over the black lines. Again, I'm not an artist, so I copy what Stampin' Up! did, <laughs> whoever designed this. 
So I know some people know all this uh, adding, making shadows and light and all that good stuff. I just copy what's out there. I mostly just color. I wish I knew all of that stuff. And some people are amazing with what they do. So I'm just going to keep going down this tree and doing that and I'll speed it up. Okay, I do see that I went out here a little bit, so I have this color lifter, and I'm just going to go over that. It's usually easy to do with a light color. Dark colors are harder, and reds are nearly impossible. So I think that looks good, and I guess I should have <laughs> closed it up to see how it was going to look. So I do have a little bit of a cloud above, but I think that's fine. Isn't that cute? And now we just have to finish coloring. So I'm doing the bird in uh, dark seaside spray. I'm gonna do both birds the same way with a little bit of a yellow belly and a yellow beak. We'll do this guy the same. Looks like a little baby. And I'll just leave some of the belly open there. So the belly I'll do in light, Daffodil Delight. And then I'm going to do the beak in dark Daffodil Delight. And you really can color these any way you want. Um, I like doing bluebirds. I think in the book, the catalog, they had them in some, some sort of red or orange. But I like bluebirds. And then the squirrel I did in dark and light um, smoky slate. So it's funny because the squirrels down in Florida are more gray than the ones in New York. Or do I have that backwards? I think that's how it works. So I'm going to do his whole kind of head in the dark, and then I'll do his little mouth area in the light. Do his little paws and his nose. And then I'll do light. I tried to stick with a lot of the same colors so I wasn't going too crazy. And the eye. All right, so we got the squirrel done and let's do the bird's nest. And I did that in dark crumb cake. We we'll just kind of move right down all these animals. So cute. And then I did the raccoon with light and dark smoky slate. So I'll do his face in the light and his paws, and then I'll do kind of his mask in the darker. And I tried to go around his eyes with the mask, so it's kind of lined. I didn't want to color in his eyes. It's so cute. I think raccoons are so cute. Except for when they're in your garbage. Then they're not so cute. And I actually gave him blue eyes. I don't know. <laughs> um, you could do whatever you want. It's your card, right? So there we go. And then the owl, I gave him um, yellow eyes. So I did the light daffodil delight for the eyes. And I also did the balloon in light daffodil delight. So see in the catalog, he's holding the yay sign and the birds and everything's a little bit different color, but do what you like best. And then I did his um, front kind of feathers in light crumb cake. So that's dark. So I'll do light crumb cake. And then I did his top part in dark and his wing in dark. So that's the light. And then we'll do this in the dark. 
it's nice that you get these um, Stampin' Blends in the two packs so that you have the both shades. So now I'm going to use the Dark Daffodil Delight for the beak. And I did this with Light Smoky Slate, the kind of the post here. And then I did Dark Smoky Slate for this little end piece. And then I did Light Seaside Spray for the sign. So we're getting there. And I wanted to use this because this is what I was using for the card base. So I, I kind of wanted to tie in the cl clouds and this sign with it. Oh, I went out again. Good thing I'm going out with the light colors. So let me get that color lifter again and just kind of go over this. Kind of like try to push it back in. I don't know if that's what I'm doing. And it will dry. It's a little wet now, but it'll dry clear. And then the rabbit. <clears throat> Let's see what did I do with the rabbit. I did the light smoky slate and light flirty flamingo. So let's get the light smoky slate and get the rabbit done. Although that looks kind of dark. Is that dark? Nope, it's light. Looks dark to me. And we'll just go around his face. And do the tip of his nose and then I want to go around the outside of these it's very tight coloring some of these areas and that's nice when you have kind of the nib that you can um, use and then we'll do light flirty flamingo for this part and then inside the ears and then we can do the inside sentiment which is I don't know if you call it the inside, <laughs> the inside of this fold. And that is, that's the happy birthday uh, from all of us. And I'm wondering, you know what? I don't think I'm going to do the from all of us, just in case I want to use this for someone else. So this says from all, happy birthday from all of us. And then on the inside, hoping your day stacks up to be one good thing on top of another. So I'll keep that with the from all of us. And this one, I'm not going to put that sentiment. And I'll do the inside sentiment, though. So I will do some of these butterflies. And I'll do them with the black memento. I don't have any mistakes to cover. I hope I don't jinx it. I'm trying to think if I want to put one here. Maybe I'll do this other, I think there's another, another butterfly. Uh, I feel like I want to put another one there, but I'm going to leave it. I will leave it. And then I did these, I did the outside with flirty flamingo, the light color, and then the inside with the dark flirty flamingo. And I guess I could do the whole thing with this because I'll be using the dark. So it doesn't matter if I get it on the inside, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So you don't have to be that careful with it. So I'm actually going to color these solid and then I'll put the dark on the inside. And I did his little body with a light smoky slate. So we're almost done. It's a lot of coloring. But if you like to color, it's fun. And then we'll just do these insides. You could do this with a different color if you wanted. As I said, I was just trying to stay in the same families of colors so that you didn't have to use too many different ones. So that's this part. And then when you put it down on your card base, you're just going to adhere 
this part. So let me get my stamp and seal and do this. Oops. I just want to get one in the middle. And you could take a breather <laughs> after you've done all this because you feel like, oh, what if I make a mistake? I did all that stamping, all that coloring, and then, you know, you get ink on it. I kind of wish that cloud wasn't there, but I'm okay with it. So I'm going to put that aside and let's do the inside. So on the inside of this card, I did the sentiment and a couple of balloons. You, if you wanted to, can put some more butterflies. Let me just hold it down there. Um, but let me get that inside sentiment. And I did it in the black. Hope your day stacks up to be one good thing on top of another. I like that. Especially with this card. Okay, and then we want to do the balloons. I've got stamps everywhere. Okay, and I colored them in with the uh, light yellow. So the light daffodil delight. And I think this one I'll color in with, I did the other one in light seaside spray. I think I'll, I'll just stick with the light seaside spray because that's what the base is and it will kind of coordinate. I'm talking to myself and figuring this out as we go. I was thinking of changing it to the green. And you can do whatever card base color you wanted. You know, just pick a color that you use. You could do the green or you could do flirty flamingo or a brown, depending on who you're giving it to, I guess. Um, let's see. We'll use this and put this on the inside. Sorry, my phone was ringing, so I had to stop you guys. So we're back. I can silence my phone that I'm taking the video of, but my home phone, I never think about it. I really need to just get rid of it. <laughs> so these are them. So see, I added this a little bit longer than this one. So whichever kind of version you like, you can add more trunk or not. But I think they're really cute and it's kind of a fun card. Okay, thanks so much for joining me, and um, if you have any questions, just leave me a comment or email me, patty at pspapercrafts.com. All the measurements will be on my blog, pspapercrafts.com. Thanks, bye.